On November 20, the fifth day of the Artemis 1 mission, a camera mounted on the tip of one of Orion's solar array wings captured this footage of the spacecraft and the moon as it continued to grow nearer to our lunar neighbor. The spacecraft entered the lunar sphere of influence at 2.09 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, making the moon, instead of Earth, the main gravitational force acting on the spacecraft. A portion of the far side of the moon looms large just beyond the Orion spacecraft in this image taken on the sixth day of the Artemis 1 mission by a camera on the tip of one of Orion's solar arrays. The spacecraft entered the lunar sphere of influence Sunday, November 20, making the moon, instead of Earth, the main gravitational force acting on the spacecraft. On Monday, November 21, it came within 80 miles of the lunar surface, the closest approach of the uncrewed Artemis 1 mission, before moving into a distant retrograde orbit around the moon. The darkest spot visible near the middle of the image is Merorintal. The Earth is seen setting from the far side of the moon just beyond the Orion spacecraft in this video taken on the sixth day of the Artemis 1 mission by a camera on the tip of one of Orion's solar arrays. The spacecraft was preparing for the outbound powered flyby maneuver which would bring it within 80 miles of the lunar surface, the closest approach of the uncrewed Artemis 1 mission, before moving into a distant retrograde orbit around the moon. The spacecraft entered the lunar sphere of influence Sunday, November 20, making the moon, instead of Earth, the main gravitational force acting on the spacecraft. On its sixth day into the Artemis 1 mission, Orion successfully completed its fourth orbital trajectory correction burn using the auxiliary engines at 1.44 a.m. Central Standard Time ahead the first of two maneuvers required to enter a distant retrograde orbit around the Moon. The first three trajectory correction burns provided an opportunity to fire all three thruster types on Orion with the first using the large orbital maneuvering system engine, the second using the small reaction control system thrusters, and the third using the medium-sized auxiliary engines. Orion completed the outbound powered flyby at 6.44 am, passing about 81 miles above the surface at 6.57 am. The spacecraft speed increased from 2,128 miles per hour before the burn to 5,102 miles per hour after the burn. Shortly after the outbound flyby burn, the spacecraft passed about 1,400 miles above the Apollo 11 landing site at Tranquility Base at 7.37 a.m. Orion later flew over the Apollo 14 site at about 6,000 miles in altitude and then over the Apollo 12 site at an altitude of about 7,700 miles. Artemis I mission manager Mike Serafin said that the mission continues to proceed as we had planned, and the ground systems, our operations teams, and the Orion spacecraft continue to exceed expectations, and we continue to learn along the way about this new, deep space spacecraft.